Hi Capricorn, if you want to come on in, have a seat for some symbolic support. We're going to utilize the shaman's palm uh, for this November. See what the aura is. Here's your scroll that we're going to utilize to set the stage. Set the tone for our auric adventures. Capricorn, thank you so much for joining me. We're going to scry your ink, add on tarot and oracle, and as well we have the ghost tube here, kick in for any audio additions. May inspiration and irritations alike receive a release freely, of course. So if you'd like to join me, or you can fast forward through to open, closing the eyes, taking a cleansing breath, cleansing the palate of perception, releasing the race and the rush, Activating the abstract mind and ancient awareness to perceive and receive symbolic support. Capricorn, thank you so much for joining me, for being my muse, and for holding space for me to share my insights. I appreciate you. All right, Capricorn. I have this wicked right shoulder thing happen. Spirit Sorry. animal. Sorry. Uh, right about here. So, Capricorns, I don't know if you're feeling the stress. Or there's some sort of tension. Uh, I'm hearing weeble wobble. Weeble wobble. So I feel like in, in this, is it Scorpio season? Um, clearing out anything that's kind of causing a craw. Sticking in your craw in this weeble wobble. Like, you know that finding that balance point? If it was like a teeter-totter of some sort? Noticing that point. Acknowledging that point. And then it's almost like what maybe your thoughts are, what's going on in the aura of November, whatever the case may be. And it's like, what's drawing me, you know, whatever positive, negative, but I'm seeing it right side, left side, right side of the body, maybe more in giving left side being more receiving. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, and there might be something also something about stress release and relief. Hmm. Below. Pampering has purpose, a particular kind of like pampering your person. Because even right here, like I'm just I'm seeing the traps, <clears throat> like the trap is, yeah, trapezoids, like the yeah, right there. See, I can feel it. Something's trying to get in. So there might also be something I'm detecting. And I haven't made a decision yet. I haven't made a decision yet. I'm also seeing some sort of gas mask. I'm also seeing the dog from, I don't know if it's Corpse Bride or Frankenweenie. I think it's Frankenweenie. And I don't think I've seen that movie. So that might be something, Frankenweenie. Or, or what a dog may mean to you. Hmm. Capricorn, we're going to add on Tara and Oracle in just a moment. I'm also seeing a hand puppet. Hand. Uh, almost like... A, um, is it Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood? Yes. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. In relation to the hand puppet, the way it looks. But the information if I may, feels a little, it looks like an alien Pope. I, I don't know how else to say that Capricorns. It looks, it just looks like an alien Pope. <laughs> maybe it's, maybe it's somebody in Saturn. It could, absolutely could be a Saturn uh, archetype, like power. You might be cleaning your house. Uh, tidying the house again of the traps because whenever I think of the traps I think of the dryer lint catcher in the in the dryer I'm also seeing um how do I is it a French press I think it's a French press it doesn't have to be for coffee but I think it's something about the action hmm Okay, we're going to wander into your shaman's palm, starting with your pinky cave of ice, wandering through to the cave of winds, hearth fire, river, earth, and the space between, between, not loser, but <laughs> to the space between being spirit and your palm here in, in your original cave. All right, 
I'm also going to flip it here. There's something about a family crest. I don't know if you're creating a family crest, wherever your family is now. It doesn't have to be blood family. It could just simply be... Hmm. Yeah, you're sorry, soul tribe, um, friends, maybe you teach something, classes, whatever it is that you do. Okay, I will bring these up for you, Capricorn. Sorry if I had a moment there. Yeah, there's something in here. Okay, so like right in your scroll... See, like even if, say, this was the head, head and shoulders, head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes. Uh, I, right, like I just, I don't, I don't know if it's stress because it's reminding me of in the show Rick and Morty. Is it the Gooblers when, no, it's not Rick and Morty. It's Solar Opposites. And he gets the Gooblers and they like jump out. But these feel like they're coming in. I don't know if there's like an external source that I feel like I'm stressing out about a little bit maybe not actually stressing out yet but it's like my body is reacting and it's contracting so in your cave of ice sorry about the lighting we have here magician sword confidence in your magic and that feels like I'm drawing into that family crest and there's something I it, want you to go. there's something in there I'm seeing old-fashioned car car is it car handles no yes and no so you know and they used to have like this in my my gumpies like buick caprice uh like uh, this big silver handle and then the big button but i'm also seeing it on a door when it goes this way but it's on either side of the heart like these valves these heart valves maybe heart health is a big thing that you're paying attention to not only in a physicality space but in like what, what these valves are open and closed to because when we wander into your oh, sorry i got distracted there first breath beginner's mind and you know me if this means anything to you please follow that first we wander into your winds your cave of winds what you're married to what you're committed to and this makes me feel like i'm starting something new scorpio season but whenever you're receiving this you're receiving it and it's almost like i'm taking time to mourn things that I'm I'm freeing from myself the fox is coming through as well I'm making space and I want space this is how I'm feeling Bring capricorns space like the whole cosmos like the weight of the world and at the same time holding the the space in which the cosmos exists is the opportunity so it's like i'm shifting a perspective or maybe an idea what do i have space for so now i'm seeing a house and let's say this house represents the void of or the space in which the void of all that is that holds all the things the planets the this the that or the other but I'm in this house and I'm going through like with that tidy house card organization on the bottom. And it's like I'm rearranging some sort of planets and whatever these planets are, they could maybe you're rearranging your house. Maybe you're rearranging your thoughts. And it isn't because anything's wrong, but it's almost like the, uh, something wants to come in. It's stressing me out because I have a lot of stuff. And it's like, okay, it's not wrong to have stuff. It's the material world here. And it's so enjoyable. It's so enjoyable to appreciate the textures of being in the tangible realm. But there's something about letting other things go. It's like before you get new clothes, you clean out old clothes. Uh, if you're holding on to things of, oh, I'll fit into this one day. And perhaps, you know, donating it or giving it to another family member. 
and seeing it live on. There's also like, I'm seeing somebody sweeping up and it's like, what do you do with that dustpan of things? Maybe it's a shop you're cleaning up. Maybe it is your home. Maybe it's your driveway. And it's like, I'm, I'm getting to this grit that might be in that, that fine dust in the, you know what I said before? I can't remember. Thank you. And it's like getting to that fine dust and like now, now I'm like vacuuming it and I'm soaking it and it's like, okay, some sort of clean slate and it has something to do with my shoulders because when I come into the hearth fires in the power middle finger, it's like allowing things in or allowing things out a cycle of seven, a cycle of seven, seven years, seven months, seven days, looking at a week, looking at things in a week. If a whole cycle of seven years, zooming out, looking into, I'm going to start with a week. I'm going to start with seven hours and I'm going to look at this. Something about a week, actually. I don't know if that's important. Anyway, sorry. So this contract, it's like I'm trying to decide what I'm going to connect to. And you might already have a busy calendar looking at these weeks or you or you've come out of a cycle that's been very busy or desolate. And now it's like, okay, I'm going to, it's like getting, I don't know why it's coming through this way, but it's hilarious. It's like getting your ducks clean, right? And I don't know. And you get all that stuff kind of done, like these very much so behind the scenes things. Because I'm making space for something. I want to breathe. I want to breathe. I want to breathe. And so it's like I've created space. Maybe you've already been doing this over the last seven-ish weeks or since right. July, okay? And now it's coming into that time just before Capricorn season. It's like, what am I going to allow? Mm, what am I going? No. What am I going to collaborate with now that I have space? to the fine dust details to bigger items and then yeah yeah okay coming into the cave of rivers of the reconciliation so even though it's like very river oriented in this cave of how you might be feeling of things but it's like having a bonfire of okay where am I going to put the dust from the from if you're cleaning up your shop or your garage or your kitchen whatever it is it's like what do you do with that dust you put it in the garbage now symbolically speaking Capricorns the way I'm feeling is is that I'm taking this dust of me maybe it could even be like dry brushing and skin cells maybe you're clipping your fingernails uh, maybe it's like trimming your hair. I don't know what it is. And that's not none of my business. What am I going to do with those things? And I do see some sort of. Water feeling, right? Clearing it out through the fire element, which makes the space to create new contracts, new beginnings. I don't feel like this is a whole. It's unknown. Um, redo. This feels more like a, or like it, how do I say that? Touch ups. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't know. You already have all the pieces. You already have everything, but it's like looking at all your marbles so you don't lose your marbles and you found your marbles and you're looking at all of them, whatever these pieces are, physically, metaphysically, spiritually, holistically, all the great things, jobs, people, places, yada, 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 all these great things. It's like, okay, I have all the right pieces and it's like you're just kind of seeing what you know, it's like runes, like you kind of throw them out and see what naturally magnetizes. Where's their, where are their slants? Something about caution. Where are their slants? What is moving with a gravity or a retrograde? Just take a look at it. It's almost like just leave it to look at it and, and work from there. Oh, I hope this makes some, some sort of sense. And in the cave of earth is the garden of Eden. Rest and renewal. Maybe it is more like a renewal versus a. Because you know what it makes me feel like? It makes me feel as though it's here. It's here that the deliciousness of being human has so many rewards that cannot be experienced in the same way or appreciated with the, you know, typical tangible five senses. Have fun with it. 
Have fun with it. Yeah, okay. Mm. Back to the Cave of Ice, we have Hunter of Dreams with conf confidence in your magic as a support. Very much Sagittarius vibe. So even going from Scorpio to Sag to, to Capricorn season, you're on the hunt in a good way. Not in this rammy way, but just in a good way. It's very calming, actually, to be honest with you. And I feel very powered. And when I come into that first breath beginner's mind in the Cave of Winds of your thoughts... You might be protecting certain things or protecting the way you're rearranging things, Re renew renewing things. It's almost like even taking knickknacks and dusting them, or maybe it's crystals. Maybe it's just good old, all your rings and jewelry. Maybe it's changing your bedding, switching from, or your curtains, switching from the seasons. Right? There's something about like, you know, washing all your, your winter gloves or something like that. Yeah. Okay. I'll leave that there. With your sacred contract, you have it with companion, which in the shot in the shaman Oracle, it is spirit. So there's, okay. Okay. So in this cave of ice, that may be de -thawing. again with that stress and you can sense it and it feels like really cold, refreshing water. Like, what is that? Um, like mountain water, spring water. So maybe springs also. Whatever you're doing now, whatever you're going to be cultivating and creating for the spring. To everything, turn, turn, turn. Have confidence you? in the connection you're making with the spirit of things. Spirit being source, creator, all that is. I don't know. Uh, pick your words. Or the spirit of the souls that you're working with, that you wish to work with. It's like your higher self, there's like that teeter-totter feeling. Like when I was talking about from the beginning in your, in your scroll, like right there at the top. And there's actually like a safety thing in there. There's a safety mechanism. Mm. I am uh, sorry. I'm back in your scroll in your in your mid world here. Libra. Whether it's you and another person, you and your higher self or aspects of the self. I'm seeing this conversation like grabbing hold of, say, either side of. It's not a pineapple or I think I want to say it's like a fruit, but I don't, or maybe like an onion. It's a big tear. What, what is it? It's actually quite something specific and I'm not sure that I, I eat it. So I don't, I don't know what it is. Could be like an artichoke. Hmm. I, again, I don't know much about artichoke. Okay. It's not the point. There's some sort of fruit or vegetable and either side is holding on and it's like the conversation is okay like are we confident that we have a companion in a contract with spirit maybe it's of this fruit or this vegetable we understand we're protected as we're taking these steps to clean house and start fresh a pre and freshen up things around me and us and them and so ready one two three and then whoosh, Oh, it's corn on the cob. For happening? heaven's sakes, I know. What is happening? I'm ridiculous. It's corn. Corn on the cob. That's what it is. Anywho. Okay, I'm going to move on. Uh, <laughs> so in your cave of rivers, you have a spirit of empowerment. And to me, this is like coming in from the pinky of ice. And it's de-thawing. Ice. Maybe there's some sort of aspect that was frozen on purpose, on purpose. And as like this, I'm going to, I'm going to call it cause I'm seeing like a fossil come out of this ice, like something prehistoric, prehistoric has been frozen in this ice. 
And as it steps forward, it starts to take a breath of life again. Even it's through your observation, you by observing it, Capricorn, in whatever way, shape or form, give it life again. Oh my goodness. And then coming into the spirit, you give it life again. You give it life again. And it reconciles the prehistoric past. And I'm going to say to the prehistoric future or present, sorry. Yeah, to the prehistoric present. And then coming into the earth is the shaman of song. To everything turned. And you sing. And look at all that. It's like whatever it is in your mind, just reverbs. I'm, I, what is that that I'm seeing in that card? Hmm. Downloads and uploads alike. Okay, actually, you know what? Before we do that, Capricorn, I'm going to wander into your spirit space here. Grab an aura scroll. Oh, you have the heart space. So many pieces. I don't know why I said it like that. So many pieces, but it's fine. Okay, so wandering into Robert. here. It's all about the brain, the brain waves. Maybe you're working with frequencies. Maybe you just really resonate with music. You create music, the humming, like breaking up stagnancy in my speech. Cause I'm just hearing like from that commercial. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? <clears throat> Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Oh, I'm, I, whatever is prehistoric through this dusting and you're burning to release it, it frees it. It feels, it feels happy that it's being freed because those particles will be able to be attracted. So it's like seeing all the marbles or the ruins drop again and gravitate to other things to be recreated. What you decide to dethaw. There's so much life in it. There's so much life Don't in you. And there's there. there's like busyness. I'm also seeing vultures. Rewards with the... I can't read upside down. The Damson tree. Thank you. We'll take that tree as a spirit. Spirit of the tree. Spirit in the sky. I'll read it to you. The promise of future success brings fruitful pleasure and happiness with the damson tree rewards. It's like took me back. <laughs> All right, Capricorns. We'll close out with the ruin. Mm. Industrious and turtle. Promise, promise again. I feel like you want, does that come through? Anyway, I'm not lying to you. If you're on a phone, you can zoom me, zoom in. Yeah, you're not, you're not lying to yourself. If you're making a promise, sing, sing a song. Promises can be fulfilled slow and steady, prehistoric, something from long, 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 long ago. It's possible. It is possible. And you're, it's almost like you're making that promise to yourself. And you're very, very industrious. And any sort of rats that are coming through, again, I feel like it's in that fine dust. It's being released. It's being released. I could close out, but I'm going to add on apparently another poker hand here. Eagle Medicine, Spirit Keeper of the South, Wounded Healer. There we go. And then you have Grandmother Earth, Spirit of Water. Your old water. I don't know how to say that in a nice way. When I say old water, it brings me back into this. The prehistoric. And your cave of ice. I've been looking for pieces. To ash out. And to bring back to life. I've made a promise to myself. I've made a promise to whatever it is up above. Whatever I consider to be not above and a better than, in above, just in the above so below kind of space. And it's, 
those old waters are the ancient awareness, whatever you want to call it, you're bringing back in. More water, water and sun, water and sun, water and sun, life, life, <clears throat> life. And then with the ego medicine, it's, it's like that song looking over things at your, your land, your promise of the future. It's not even about, I'm fulfilling the promise Capricorns. That's what it feels like. I'm fulfilling the very, very promise. I made to myself or I made to other people. And when, as new things step forward or old things reemerge through the contracts of my hearth fires of my heart, Angel. I, I'm noticing, do I have enough space to materialize and fulfill that promise? And if I decide not to, I will not say I can't. I'm not able to at this time to fulfill it to the, to the caliber that I would prefer. I grace, gracefully and graciously say, no, thank you. I understand, but I'm sure there's somebody else that can help with that. And it's like, that's almost like singing my song. It feels very, very gracious. Hmm. All right, Capricorns, I'm going to leave it here. I've rambled on too long. Thank you so much for being my muse, for holding space for me to share my insights and allowing me to be a guest in your aura. Uh, until next time, I will see you again soon.